the population of a town changed from 65,200 in 2007 to 62,000 in 2010. We want to find the change, absolute change, and relative change. Let's begin with a quick review. If we're given two quantities, the change is equal to the ending quantity minus the starting quantity. So notice how the change can be either positive or negative. Then the absolute change is the absolute value of the change, which will always be positive. Therefore, we'll have to indicate whether this is an absolute increase or decrease. And then finally, for the relative change, we take the absolute change and divide by the starting quantity. And again, we should express whether this is a percent increase or decrease. So the absolute change, as well as the change, has the same units as the original quantity. The relative change gives a percent of change, and then the starting quantity is called the base of the percent change. So going back to our example, notice how the population does go down from 2007 to 2010. So the change is equal to the ending population of 62,000 people minus the starting population of 65,200 people. And notice how this difference is negative. It's negative 3,200 people, which again indicates that the population is decreasing. So for the absolute change, we'll have to indicate it's an absolute decrease. And for the relative change, we'll indicate a relative decrease as well. So the absolute change is just the absolute value of the change. So we'd have the absolute value of negative 3,200 people, which of course is just 3,200 people. And then the relative decrease expresses a decimal would be the absolute decrease of 3,200 people divided by the base of the starting population of 65,200 people. So notice how the units of people simplifies out, and now we'll convert this quotient to a percentage, which means we'll divide, multiply by 100, and add a percent sign. So we have 3,200 divided by 65,200 equals, now we'll convert to a percent and round to at least one decimal place. So let's multiply by 100, which is the same as moving the decimal point to the right two places. So we'll say the relative decrease is approximately 4.9 percent. Before we go though, I do want to emphasize the vocabulary here. Notice how we're saying we have a relative decrease of 4.9 percent, which is correct. Now if we were asked to find the percent of change, meaning we're not indicating whether it's an increase or decrease, we would leave it as a negative 4.9 percent to indicate that it's a decrease of 4.9 percent. I hope you found this explanation helpful.